Hey everyone, it's Raldo here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the brand new Arachnomancer class, which came out today. It's uh, pretty cool. It's a really good support class, I'll say that. It's not really the greatest soloing or for bossing or any of that, but in support, this thing is great, and that's where you're going to want to use it. So I'll just show you how to obtain it and all that. To get the Arachnomancer class, simply just go to Batalon and click on Iktumi, <laughs> and uh, go to the Arachnomancer store. Now you'll have the 2000 AC version and the standard earned version and that's how you get the class now if this does move in the future I'll let you know once you do that you're going to want to enhance your class as I said before Arachnomancer is a support class so you want to bear this in mind uh, it's very squishy it takes a lot of damage now before I actually show you the enhancements I'll just show you some of the cool things here the first passive at rank 4 is an 18% increase to your dodge, which is quite helpful, and it increases your chance to critically strike by 10%. Uh, the rank 10 passive increases both your strength and intellect by 12%. So that's pretty good. Um, you might notice that this is actually a really interesting um, class. It really benefits from dexterity and stuff with dodge. An evasion, but that also means sacrificing strength and intellect. It's basically sort of a rogue sort of model, as you can see with the uh, regen. You get your mana back when you dodge, so it's based on that. But it's got the stats of a more hybrid class. So as a result, in terms of enhancing this, it really depends what you want. If you're going support, I'd recommend full thief, but you might want to try some hybrid or some luck or maybe a bit of strength I mean fighter or wizard specifically so it just depends on the use if you're going alone and want damage probably best to go with some luck and some fighter and wizard but if you're going support which is what I recommend make sure you uh you manage to go uh the <laughs> full thief uh, because this class is so squishy this also depends on what you want to do you'll either want to go with health vamp and Use that to cover your weakness, since this class doesn't have a wheel, uh, a heal. Or you'll want to go with Mana Vamp, because you'll run out of mana a lot with this class. Personally, just for this video, because I'm going to be alone, I'm going to go with Health Vamp. And I will be using a stable damage range, just to give you the average damage. So, just a reminder, this is after the rank 4 and 10 passives are in place, so you'll be a little weaker when you initially get this class. Uh... But yeah, and I am using stable, and you can change that to unstable if you want. The first move is basically your go-to move for stacking a bit of damage. It's called Venom Fangs, and it applies a small damage over time, and it stacks six times, so uh, it does uh, get stronger. I uh, Just a reminder, this class attacks faster than most others. Uh, the Venom Fangs doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but it does a little bit extra. But It's the damage over time that really makes it worth it. As you can see, it doesn't use up too much MP, so if you're only using that, you should be fine. You've got a second move here called Slingshot Web. That's a bit more expensive. It's basically a guaranteed crit, and it increases the amount of damage you take, so beware when using this. Um, it also applies a second damage over time. Not quite as strong as the first on full stack, but it's still a second damage over time, and that's helpful. Uh, so you're getting the idea. The third move is uh, interesting. It doesn't actually do much on its own, but it's quite nice. It's got a 35% chance to stun your opponent for 3 seconds, and you're going to need that. There you go. Uh, but it also doubles your damage over time, as you may have seen. And that is especially handy. Uh, not only does it double your damage over time, but it doubles the damage over time that your allies do to that target. So, Dragon Shinobi, Rogue, any any class with the damage over time, they will also have their damage over times doubled. So you're seeing how this support class works. Uh, yeah, and it works with both of yours. You've also got your uh, final move. Now this is a bit scary because for one it actually makes you do double damage as you can see but it also does double your damage over time effects 
and then if you look carefully that actually doubles the double so these two multiply so you're doing as you saw there a times four damage over time now in increasing your damage output by 100% or doubling your damage output you actually make yourself more vulnerable to damage so you will be taking 50% extra damage uh, which isn't too bad and when you think about that this affects your target so anyone else attacking this target will also be doing double damage so as you can see for damage over time classes and classes in general this is a pretty good support class uh, but I just want to share something to think about use this class with Dragon Shinobi. Uh, I have managed to use Dragon Shinobi to get a 50k dot. Now that will be very hard to achieve, but uh, think about it. Dragon Shinobi has that stacking damage over time at the beginning, and you can get that up to 3000. It's got a rank 10 passive, which will take that 3000 damage and times it by 4 to 12,000, and then you basically Take these two moves and times the 12,000 by 4, and that'll get you to roughly 50,000. Uh, so this class, although it's a bit squishy and it's not amazing on its own, it has the potential to do some really cool things. So uh, make sure you use this class wisely. It is like a spider, and they've said this on the design notes and other places, in the sense that it can do a lot of damage. It's quite fast, but it's also very squishy. One-on-one uh, -on -one PvP, this thing will be quite hard to use because any classes with guaranteed crit guaranteed crits are just going to come along and nail you especially if you're using these two moves here but uh and group pvp also you'll be quite vulnerable and it only affects one target as opposed to all the people so it only affects the person you're attacking so just bear that in mind with using it other than that it's a really interesting and fun class and i uh, hope you get it and enjoy it uh, until next time, bye.